like me have an undeniable obsession of our blue crabs, Old Bay, our beautiful flag, and all things Under Armour. But we pride ourselves each and every time we cross one of the most known scariest bridges in the entire United States. I'm Moto Shorty, your co-host today with Motorcycle Destinations, and I'm taking you to the infamous Chesapeake Bay Bridge. This scenic byway stretches nearly four and a half miles connecting the eastern and western shores of Maryland over the Chesapeake Bay, which is famously known for its blue crabs. When the toll bridge opened in 1954, it was one of the world's longest continuous over water steel structures. The parallel span was added later in 1973. The bridge is part of US Route 50 and US 301. Yes, the 301 that goes from Delaware to Florida parallel to I-95. And due to motorists opting for the scenic route when traveling the East Coast or when city dwellers head east between Memorial Day and Labor Day, be prepared for some bottleneck traffic before entering the bridge. Friday afternoons going east, Saturday mornings or Sunday afternoons going east or west are usually the worst times when it comes to traffic during the summer. Be mindful of the changing traffic patterns controlled by overhead lane control signals. The eastbound span has two lanes and the westbound has three. So sometimes they will close off a lane so traffic in the opposite direction can flow onto one of those bridges. So yes, there are times when you can come inches away from vehicles driving towards you. Riding across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge is an unforgettable experience and sure will take your breath away, whether due to overcoming your fear of heights or simply because of the spectacular view. But of course, enjoy that view through your peripheral vision. You gotta make sure to keep your eye on the road since there's no space nor medians for quick maneuvering. And unfortunately, there have been some notable incidents and closures because of its height, low guardrails, and weather conditions. And for some motorists who have extreme fear and phobia, there's a small business called Bay Bridge Drive Overs who will transport folks and their cars, even motorcycles, over the bridge for a fee. They average 25 to 30 transports a day. And last but not least, remember, it's a toll bridge, only going eastbound. Thankfully, because of the pandemic, they got rid of the toll booths and inserted overhead electronic tolling. So bring your Easy Pass or have your license plate registered with Easy Pass for the discounted rate, or simply wait on the mail for the bill. Let me know if you've been on this spectacular bridge before and share your experience with us in the comments below, or if you have any other bridges you recommend for us to ride to. In the meantime, follow me, Moto Shorty, on Instagram and YouTube for some behind the scenes from this and so much more. And also check out our next video.